I am Sundar Jayadankar. Today I am teaching you the lubrication bearing polo. The type 1 already uploaded. This is a type 2 using graph sign uh, formula method. The problem two, in the problem 2, in the uh, video, I have shown the using of uh, table method. Here you are using graph and formula method for solving the same problem. 50 mm diameter full journal bearing supported by a load of 2500 Newton. The bearing is 50 mm long and the shaft is operated at 300 rpm. The radial clearance is 0 0.05 mm. The bearing is lubricated with SAE 10110 oil and the operating temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. Determine the summer fill number, the coefficient of friction, the minimum film thickness, attitude, heat generated of the lubricant into the bearing and amount of end leakage, maximum pressure on the bearing and temperature rise of the lubricant using Raymond is and boys curve. Instead of using the Raymond is and boys, I will use the both uh, formula as well as a graphical method. As per the data, as per the data, it is a full general bearing that is theta is equal to beta is equal to 360 and in terms of meter L in terms of meter load CR is given radial clearance uh, rpm 300 rpm converted into rps SAE 110 is equal to 80 degree now this is nothing but data this is nothing but data L by D is nothing but 0 0.1 the bearing pressure can be obtained W by LD by using this one it is obtained here where it is open? It is open by the data handbook. In the data handbook. It can be obtained. It can be obtained by seeing this one. You can see. Here. W by LD. Value is there. This value has to be substituted in the equation. We will open the values. After W by LD, substitute the value we will get in terms of meter per meter square. Next, diameter clearance thing, but C is equal to 2 RC. Substitute, we will get this one. Diameter clearance ratio, phi is, well, psi is equal to C by D. Substitute the value, we will get an answer. Now, how to obtain the nita from the table 24.1? They have given what? SAE 10. SAE 10. So, SAE 10. This is the SAE 10. Here SAE 10. This is the SAE 10. From the SAE 10, you will get the number I. This is I. Once you get the I, just read the page. In this figure, the temperature is given 80 degree. I is the thing, but this is the I line. This is the I line. 80 I. 80 and I. You will get around 55 centipoise. 55 centipoise by using this one. While doing so, you will get absolute velocity of 55 into 10 raised to minus 3 Pascal second. Okay, this is the value we will get from the graphs. Okay, and next step is nothing but finding summer fold number. Finding the summer fold number. First, we have to find the summer of number. I will go for finding the summer of number. The value of the summer of number is nothing but page number. I will go for finding the summer of number. This is the formula for summer of number. S is equal to nita dash nita n dash t 1 by psi square. I will write the summer of number. First, I have to find the summer of number. Summer of number. S is equal to 
and dash e time to p divided by psi square formula 24.39 page number 24.15 if you substitute the value 55 into 10 dash to minus 3 into 5 and dash is 5 into p is nothing but 1 into 10 dash to 6 into 1 divided by psi is nothing but 2 into 10 dash to minus 3 whole square the answer will be 0 0.06875 after knowing the sample number I will go for coefficient of friction finding the coefficient of friction there are two methods instead of uh, going for table table method you can go for formula or <coughs> graphical method for coefficient of friction you have to go for the formula uh, this is the formula we are using it find the coefficient of friction this is the formula i am using it mu is nothing but ka eta n dash divided by p 1 divided by psi square psi into 10 raised to minus 10 plus delta mu this is the formula i am using it here page number uh, formula 24.22 page number page number 24.10 <laughs> everything is given here everything this is the k value what is k value 1.95 into 10 raised to 11 they are wrong printed here this is the ka and this is the beta into eta will be 55 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 5 divided by 1 into 10 raised to 6 into 1 divided by 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 10 plus delta delta mu is nothing but 0 point they have given it 0 0.0 002 they give on the value if you multiply it you will get the value around 4.68 6 8 into 10 raised to minus 3 total value will be 1 to 5 I will write once again 4.68125 into 10 raised to 3 10 raised to minus 3 you will get the value or you can go for graphical method graph this is the formula graph you can use the graph instead of this one you can go for the graph the graph for this one is nothing but this is the graph you can use it for finding the summer coefficient of friction or <coughs> summer fold number is given already we have find out the summer fold number here 0 0.066 go for 0 0.066 and uh, L by D is nothing but 1 here 0 0.661 is nothing but approxy approximate 2 here mu by psi is nothing but 2 mu is nothing but 2 into psi is nothing but 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 it will be 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 either you can go for either you can go for this method or this method you will get the same answer it is a graphical one this is a formula based one the graph can be figure uh, 24-20 page number page number 24.26 now we will go for this method formula method either you can go for this and this both you will get the same answer okay next i have to find the minimum flame thickness third one i will consider this as a second minimum flame thickness minimum flame thickness for this one the formula for minimum flame thickness This is the formula you have to use it minimum flame thickness 
delta is equal to 2h mean divided by c is equal to 1 by e or eccentricity so 24.33 page number 24.14 this is the formula you are using okay i will use that formula you return it now <coughs> how to find out this delta delta can be found out by using this graph 24.128 we can use this graph for finding the delta but while doing this one you have to multiply the 60 the value will get you have to go for 360 degree 360 beta is 360 and you will get the delta value you will get the delta value this is the one method or you can go for b by l or one more method is the same you can use this graph this graph here you have to find out the b by l once you get this graph and b by l you can so you can find out the mu by uh, mu by sign by using this formula also you can by using this graph also you can find out the mu mu okay we will go for finding the delta i will go for finding the delta there are one more method is the for finding the delta here this is the formula this is the graph i will use for finding the because yes c is known and i will find out the delta there are two methods for finding the delta one more first finding by means of beta you can find out or by means of l by d i will go for l by d is equal to 1 my value is 0 0.06 the value will be around this 0 0.06 0 0.06 the value will be around 2.6 2.6 yes is known here this is nothing but 0 0.06 i will consider l by d is nothing but 1 here delta is nothing but delta 2 h mean divided by c is nothing but 0 0.26 by using this one 0 point and this is value you will you will obtain 0 0.26 0 0.26 and figure figure 24.13 a page number page number 24.33 once you get the value here hard is nothing but substitute the value 0 0.26 is nothing but delta c value cross multiply 0 0.26 into c value is nothing but 1 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 2 you will get h mean the h mean will be 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter it is similar to table for table if you compare the values you will get the same values next i will find the attitude attitude is very simple by using the same formula you can find out the attitude delta is nothing but 1 minus e e is nothing but what 1 minus delta 1 minus 0 0.26 attitude will be 0 0.74 by using the same formula you can find out the attitude okay i will go for uh, next finding the uh, heat generated finding the heat generated heat generated <coughs> fifth one heat generated For finding the heat generated formula will be this is the formula for heat generated hg is equal to hg is equal to mu pld into v where p is nothing but w by ld where w is nothing but p l d v is nothing but pi d and dash substitute the value we already we got it 4.688125 into 10 raised to minus 3 w is nothing but 25 0 v is nothing but pi into d is nothing but 0 0.05 into n dash nothing but 5 the value will for this one is nothing but hg will be 
9.18 watt if you go for instead of this one if you go for 4 the value will be around 8 8 watts it will be around 8 watt okay <sighs> next i will find out the sixth flow of lubrication into the bearing flow of lubrication lubricant into the bearing it is q i have to find out and this can be found by using the figure 24.37 page number 24.35 where s is equal to 0 0.06 and l by d is equal to 1 now page number 24.35 page number 24.35 now this is the page number 24.35 yes value is known 0 0.06 is known the value for this one is a thing but around 4 point around 4.55 the <coughs> 4 no this is the value the formula will be 4 q d square n dash l into psi is nothing but 4.55 by using this 4.55 i will write the formula here 4q d square n dash l size nothing but 4.55 now q is nothing but what 4.55 into d square is nothing but 0 0.5 0 0.05 whole square into 5 into 0 0.05 psi is nothing but 2 into 10 to minus 3 divided by 4 you will get the value similar to the table value 1.42 into 10 to minus 6 meter cube per second next i will go for finding the amount of end leakage amount of end leakage that is qs i have to find out now qs divided by q you have to go for the figure 24.39 page number 36. This is the figure I have to refer here. This is the figure here 0 0.06 around this one. One is this one, the value will be 8 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Once you get the value, multiply the Q value here. QS is equal to 0 0.8 into 1.42 into 10 to minus 6. You will get the value around. 1.1375 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter cube per second. Next, next is maximum pressure. Maximum pressure on the bearing. For this one, you have to refer the figure 24.15a. Page number 2418. 2418. 2418. This is the figure you have to refer. Yes, is known here. Yes, is known. L by D is nothing but 1. This is the 1. 0 0.06. This is 0 0.06. This is the 1. The value will be 0 0.35. 0 0.35. If you go, this is a 0 0.06. 0 0.35. Now, now this is the value. P by P max will be what? P by P max will be 0 0.35. After getting the value 0 0.35. P max can be written as what? P divided by 0 0.35. If 
further it can be written as 1 into 10 to 6 divided by 0.35 answer will be 2.86 into 10 to 6 newton per meter square that means pascal the last is nothing but 10th temperature rise of the lubricant this is delta t you have to find out it can be found by using the figure 24.40 page number 24.37 this is the formula this is the figure I will wrap up 0.06 beta will be theta will be what theta or beta both are same here theta or beta you can go for beta or theta 360 degree sorry I have taken the beta okay you have to consider the theta sorry for uh, beta okay theta will be 360 0.06 into b theta you will get 10 10 the formula for this one is nothing but this is the formula write out the formula in the paper mu csp delta t divided by p is nothing but 10 10 now delta t is nothing but 10 into p is nothing but 1 into 10 is to 6 divided by mu mu value can be obtained by using here they are given the mu value mu value this is the mu value 0 0.83 into 10 is to 3 I write it here 8.83 into 10 is to 3 it is in kilo newton per m square you have to mention in terms of newton per m square next sp is nothing but 0 0.18 kilo joule you have to take in terms of joule joule newton write it into 0 0.19 into 10 is to 3 if you calculate the value will be around 5.90 Celsius. In the last video, I made it a mistake here. Here I have to write beta, uh, theta. I have written beta. Okay, just take it uh, rectified. I'm Sadhush Gadankar. Thank you very much.